My name is Walter Holmans. I'm uh, Rob Atkin. I'm TJ Edward. Uh, my name is Eamon Carrig. Robot Boat is an autonomous, autonomously sailing uh, platform. A catamaran. A persistent platform. To measure all kinds of things that are on the ocean. It's a way for us to get sensors out to the middle of nowhere in the ocean uh, much cheaper than uh, anything that's come along before. The, the oceans are, are not well enough understood. One thing that we can help with is uh, increasing the precision of our models for climate change. We can determine how much CO2. What rate it's going into the ocean. Another is water quality management. Measure the uh, runoff from the farms and the cities. Sea life monitoring. Monitoring fish repositories. Monitoring of oil spills and other environmental disasters. You can have a sensor go down that detects hydrocarbons. Ship safety to protect against pirates. We can find pollution and track its source. When scientists can then take that data and come up with a cohesive explanation for what's happening. So the oceanographers can inform the policy makers. As of right now, we don't really have a good way to get that kind of data. Um, a boat with people on it that, that can be out in the middle of the, the South Pacific Ocean will run about ten to $30,000 a day. There's fuel costs, there's all sorts of life support costs. And nobody can afford that, which is why we don't do it. The only way to economically do that is to automate it. The robot boat is, has a, a unique ability to perform these tasks. The, the beauty part about uh, robot boat is that it doesn't take any fuel. Power, you know, it moves around from, by wind with sail power. We use uh, the wind just like sailors have for centuries. Solar power for its sensors and for the control computers. So what we want to do is build the smallest possible boat so it's least expensive to build many, many of them. Therefore be able to collect trends in data as opposed to just instantaneous measurements here or there. But a boat that's still big enough so that it can sail efficiently. We have uh, approached it as a remotely operated sensor much in the same way that we have approached spacecraft. All of us got our start here doing uh, spacecraft hardware as we think of the boat as basically a satellite on the middle of the ocean. It is off on its own, fully autonomous. It maintains its ability to survive, to communicate. We have to have a boat that can essentially just roll around in the surf. It all boils down to this. We have to reduce the logistical cost of being on the ocean and making really, really simple measurements. If we're able to increase the aperture with which we see the oceans, and I think Robot Boat is the best way to do that, everybody benefits. Uh, right now, the, the project is building our sixth prototype. And you know we've reached sort of the limit of our resources. Hopefully, this will be the last in the series of prototypes before we're ready for mass production. The, the point that we can deliver it to the world community, and we would really like Kickstarter people's help to help us make that goal a reality. In a nutshell, what we're going to do with your funding is build as many boats as we can and go off and demonstrate that robot boats can be used to understand the, the oceans in a way that we have to understand them.